All right, this is a video to orient you to the chapter 14 uh, exercise start files. I've put a uh, chapter 14 PV folder in your folder, but it has some problems with it. Um, there had been a problem with the word header in our programs, but there isn't anymore, so you might have to go in and uh, change those to not say uh, header two anymore or you can use the start from the start files from the learning module once you get that taken care of if you have any questions about it just email me or give me a call or something um, once you get that working just come in and test the program because it should work the way it is um, it's nothing too different than what we've been using before it's the thing that's different is the way that it works it's uh, done using an object-oriented design, using uh, objects and classes. And what you want to do is spend some time with the code and try to figure out as much as you can what the code is doing. All right, in the model f directory, there's a category PHP file, which is the, the actual class. Remember, the class is like the blueprint or the cookie cutter um, from the, that the objects are going to be made from. And the exercise wants you to do something with the constructor. And that's right here. And the constructor is currently accepting two arguments and then passing them to the private member variables, ID and name. The exercise wants you to get rid of those. So the constructor does not accept any arguments uh, and instead just use the sets. So let's see what happens if we just take those out of there. All right, we don't get an error, but we get uh, blanks where the categories should be. So that's not, not bad. That's kind of what we'd expect for now. So what we want to use are these set functions. Notice each uh, private member variable has a get and a set. And if this is all foreign to you, you need to review you know, some of the object-oriented videos. Now let's look at where the constructor is actually being called. And here in this category DB PHP file, uh, there are, uh, this is where the objects are actually created. And the category um, class is going to have, the constructor is going to have the same name as the class. All right, the constructor is a special member function, like other member functions, but it's called automatically whenever the keyword new is used. So here's an example. Here's new category. We're passing two arguments to it, um, but now our constructor is set up to not accept those arguments. So we're going to leave the parentheses blank and use that set. But what's the syntax when we want to call a private member function? Uh, well, on line 18 here, I see that the double colon is being used. So what if we try that and then our um, function name and you see that set is uh, set up to ex uh, accept an argument so make sure we get the capitalization exactly correct make sure the call matches the header and I'm pasting what had been in the um, the argument list for the constructor and sometimes yeah, Atlas might get messed up looking when you copy and paste some stuff so I'll clear that up after I do that. All right, so that was set ID and set name. So these are the two uh, functions I want to call to pass the values in instead of using the constructor. All right, get that syntax correct. I'll do a save and a reload to see if it looks pretty and all right that looks pretty good let's go back to our web page and do a refresh and see what happens okay well now we get an error uh, let's take a closer look at our constructor and I think the book shows you instead of just leaving them blank you can initialize them it's a good idea but didn't clear up our error let's see if it's an error that's just related to reloading instead of going into it from a certain page nope that's not the case same error so 
what you might want to do in this situation yourself is do a Google search on that error. Right? I don't want to make this perfect the first time because I know you're not going to make it perfect the first time and I want to show you, you know, what you can do when you run into problems like that. Um, in Firefox you can just highlight the error, right click and search. And this website has um, some good information on it. Just have to work our way through it. Here's an answer that was voted to be good. It says uh, you should not invoke the method with the double colons. Instead, you should use that arrow looking operator. So let's go back and find where we are calling those set functions. That was in the model category DB. And let's change that syntax. Now, as you can see, I'm pretty much completing this for the category class. You're going to just do this exact same thing for the product class. And that will be your assignment. Uh, just, of course, add lots of documentation. All right, so there we are changing the syntax. And uh, we will refresh. OK, and now we've got no error, but still no categories. Let's see what else could be going on here. Uh, when we were looking through our category DB before, we saw there were a couple of constructors. Here's one on line 10. So we're going to copy the new way that we're constructing our object using the constructor that doesn't accept arguments and then the two set functions instead of passing in the arguments to the constructor. I'm basically just going to paste what was down here into my for each loop here. Uh, clean it up so it's readable. So, so maybe you'll easily tell that that's part of the loop through indentation. And make sure to save and refresh. And there's my categories. All right, so just do the same thing for products and add lots of documentation.